What's going on, YouTube Frosty? I hope you guys are doing well. By now, I'm sure you've heard the disappointing news regarding the shutdown of SM2. Activision sent them a cease and desist letter, and they are following that letter, and they are shutting down all further development of that game. And it's disappointing because this was supposed to be something for the Call of Duty community to get excited about. This was something that we were going to look forward to. And now it's gone. We don't have that opportunity anymore. But what I do have to say with this video, because I already talked about it in my last video, which I'll link down below in the description. The outpouring of support that this game had shows you just how ready and willing the community is to love Call of Duty again, to want Call of Duty to succeed. Anybody that's out there believing that the biggest voices in Call of Duty want this franchise to fail is so misguided because so many of the big voices, big creators surrounding Call of Duty wanted SM2 to, to succeed because it was the first time that we actually saw a Call of Duty project bring joy to ourselves. Like it was something to finally get excited about and it's just been so long since we've had that opportunity because we've had half-assed project after half-assed project released out of Activision. And to have something that was made for the fans, by the fans, was extremely exciting. It was a breath of fresh air. And unfortunately, that's been taken away from us. But I do have to commend major players in this community. Like Merc Music, Exclusive Ace, Nero Cinema, Blame Truth for coming out and showcasing their support for not only this idea but for the developers behind this idea. It means a lot to this community to know that the big voices, the ones that could influence change in Call of Duty, are watching what's going on, and they're not happy either. And I'm wondering who's sitting back today and is actually proud of, this, of the decision that Activision made. I'm wondering who can still support this greedy ass company and believe that they're doing right by their consumers and doing right by this franchise because I'm going to be honest with all of you, they are not. They are failing us at every single turn and they are disappointing us at every single turn. I am very upset and disappointed that this is the current state of Call of Duty, but here we are. Greed is number one. The fans are number 15 on their list of priorities. They do not want to deliver a game with any life or any identity or any soul. And it shows with every upcoming update. It shows with every upcoming release of a new Call of Duty game. SM2 was an opportunity for the community to get back together, to unite, to connect. And Call of Duty is so hell-bent on making sure that their community is divided and disconnected. And it's upsetting. One thing that I do have to say that I want out of this is I want people to pursue more projects like SM2. I want people to find a way to bring that life that we once had in Call of Duty back. I also want people to boycott Activision, boycott the microtransactions, boycott the new COD Champ skin that just came out like what Merc Music said. It's absolutely disgusting that you shut down a fan-made project that was not about money, that was not about trying to do anything more than bring some brand recognition back to Call of Duty, showcase what you guys can't do. You guys have infinite amount of resources and a small development team working solely as a volunteer program was able to out-develop you. How sad is that? You have infinite resources and you had a community proud of what you were, what they were making versus what you have with Modern Warfare 2 and the previous iterations of Call of Duty. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. How is anybody at Activision proud of what they're releasing right now? Regardless of that fact, they did this and then they released this skin for COD Champs and basically showcasing that, hey, we're the kings on the street. Please remember to buy our skins. You are nothing more than a mouth breather, a brain dead moron if you decide to purchase this new COD Champ skin. That's what you are. You are saying, hey daddy Activision, please stick it in my rectum some more because I don't give a flying fuck about the direction of this franchise. I don't care about this community. All I care about is giving daddy Activision more money so they can continuously release bad games and prey on people who actually want this franchise to be better that actually want to hold this franchise accountable for the current state that it is in 
this franchise is in shambles and we do not demand more from our developers and it's insanely disappointing. But anyways, I wanted to use this video to say thank you to the big voices of this community, the Merc Musics, the Exclusive Aces, the Blame Truce, Nero Cinema, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some others. I'm hoping that this starts real change, but I doubt it. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.